Hey, Michael in Holland, Pennsylvania. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut one of my favorite pairs tonight. You're getting non-prescription fashion lenses in the Versace 4275, the color GB1, which is the classic shiny black in the 58 eye size. So let me take everything out of the original packaging as Versace sends it to me. Your Versace gift box. Your... Versace case. We know what's inside there. Now your Versace cleaning cloth, your card of authenticity. You can register your product with Versace if you like. And then last but not least, junk mail in multiple languages because you just don't get enough of it in your mailbox now. So now they're putting it in your eyeglass case. So let me take this out of your Italian leather Versace case. And inside is the main attraction, the star of the show. Of course, all frames come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while they are being shipped from Italy. Hang on, let me get my flashlight there. All Versace's are made in Italy. And I'm gonna, you're going to receive all the manufacturer's packaging just as I have received it. Now this is your frame with the giant Medusa on the side. Medusa, Medusa, Medusa on both sides. This is the classic shiny black and gold. And I'm going to pop out your original lemon lenses, one of which has the Versace sticker on there. I'm going to pop these out now to take the lenses out. Put the thumb at the nose. Grab the lens by the other side and just push downward. Out they come. Same thing on this side. Thumb at the nose. Put the other thumb on top. Push downward. Out it comes. I'm going to take your frame, put it into the tracing element of my edger, and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up right here, and it's going to go around and trace the inside of the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Versace frame, and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses, or in this case, non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. And Michael, in your case, these are not prescription, but you can still get reimbursed. So this is the size of the lens that, uh, well, I'm sorry, that is the shape of the lens. That's the actual size, that green outline that I'll be cutting. Now, if these were prescription, I'd put in the pupillary distance here and even the optical center height, but none of that matters since these are non-prescription. I'm just going to take your lens out of its protective sleeve. I'm gonna take the first one out, place it on the platform. Let's do the same thing for the second one. Now, this is a block. Woo! Or as I like to call them, Jenny is still alive. It's trying to get away from me. But this is what I call Jenny from the block. I need to attach these to your lens while it is cutting. This is what's going to hold it in place in the lathe. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick that onto the first block, place that onto the platform. Do the same thing now for the second block. Now on the back is a little silver button. That is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice tonight. I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now the first time, the first job the magnet is going to do is going to attach itself to something magnetical here in the arm. And that's going to hold it there. Now you can see that is the lens. You can see the outline of me moving around. As long as it's large enough to cover that, it will go in there. I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. Of course, this could be the left lens. It really doesn't matter since these are non-prescription. But the first lens. And we're going to go ahead and put the second lens there. And you can see as long as it doesn't, if I miss that green line, it's going to work out perfectly. Now, if this were prescription, I would have three dots on here and I would line it up to make sure that's where it's supposed to be. This time it does not matter. Let's pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Place that in there, hit the button, and now the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the second lens. But this, for all intents and purposes, will be the left lens. Let's just call it that. Now, this is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, and then you won't need this guy anymore to cut lenses for you, and I can take the evening off, but that ain't going to happen. So the actual cutting wheel is over here. It's on the right-hand side. It'll move to the center once it begins cutting, but it's on the right-hand side. It's gonna, this wheel is the cutting wheel. It's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. 
this wheel in the in the center of that channel that little valley that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame now the magnet that you see here is going to do its job a second time it's going to hold it in place into the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i'm formal and i don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck but i'm gonna wake up the computer that is the shape of the lens we will be cutting again as you can see it'll fit in there perfectly and these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex i would select that but we're going to stay on polycarbonate i do not want to polish the edge of the lenses because they're not going to be seen anyway in this frame i do not want to put a bevel on the front surface the convex surface of the lens i'm only going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens and that concludes the vocabulary lesson of the day I'm going to hit the green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And it is, you can see as it's going around, tracing out the shape. And then the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Now you're not going to have any edge thickness in this because these are non-prescription, but because I do cut prescription lenses all day long, even the free prescriptions, I do cut some very high prescriptions and it becomes more critical and that comes into play later on. Now if you see light flickering in the background, that is water there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off of the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic and high index plastic cut wet. Now, as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarb polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic it is also virtually unbreakable your lenses are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection built into the lens we know what the Sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now it's doing its last little check and balance system to know again where to place the bevel. If you notice your lens is completely flat around the edges just like a nickel. If I were to take it out now it would stand up on the counter on its own. But now it's going to drop down onto that middle wheel that has the bevel in it, that V bevel. And that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now Michael mentioned to me that he's been wanting this pair for a long time and shoot, who doesn't want this thing? This thing is bad to the bone. This is the nicest Medusa of any Versace frame available. And what I like about it is it reminds me of the old school Cazals from the 80s and 90s from up north. Spike Lee run dmc a lot of the celebrities wore this look it's coming back it is here and of course versace is going to be on top of it it is going to be on top now a little lever is coming out at the end of that lever is a spinning wheel something you would find at the end of a dremel tool that is applying the safety bevel to the rear surface of the lens now again, this is not going to protrude out of the frame, but should you have any edge thickness in the stronger prescriptions, that becomes more critical and, and should it come into contact with the cheek, it'd be nice and smooth. So I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. It just takes me a couple hours, but I can do it. I just got to keep staring at it. So I just want to dry the lens off so it's no longer slippery. I'm going to tuck this lens in at the outside corner. Then using my thumbs, I have the empty side closest to me. And I, tuck the, I start by tucking the outside edge in first and then use my thumbs. I press down at the nose, it snaps right in. We're going to go ahead and start cutting the left lens. We're going to flip that over to L. Make sure the magnet lines up on top. And then hit the start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts. And then the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's tracing going around, my finger is the guide, making sure it's large enough to fit. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once to know exactly where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing for the best cosmetic look and you have no edge thickness whatsoever. 
very well made pair. Now the other nice thing about your lenses, not only are the unbreakable, the thinner, lighter weight, bulletproof up to a 22 caliber UVA, UVB, and premium scratch protection, but it's aspheric. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A spherical lens is completely round in every direction. It gives you an ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance. These lenses not only, as I mentioned, thinner and lighter weight, but this flat front curvature is flatter to fit today's flatter curvature frames. So that too is going to give you the best cosmetic look possible. So when you buy glasses from people online, they charge you for the prescription. That's no good. And then if you want to upgrade to the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable, bulletproof with UVA and UVB protection, ultraviolet protection, both of them, they charge you another fee for that. And then when you want the aspheric, the flatter curvature lenses to give you the best cosmetic look, they charge you a third fee for that. So that's someone else's top tier premium lens that you get for free simply by buying the frame from me. And that's how I make premium the new standard. I don't know why everyone else is charging for it. And they don't show you how they do their work. That way you can inspect the quality all the way through. water has begun spraying onto the lens it does that for the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle and again onto the bevel wheel just to wash away any optical debris while it's cutting now Michael in just a moment I want you to open the door with your mind Concentrate, concentrate. Well done, Michael. Your first day on the job and you're already using telekinesis. I like that. So I'm going to dry the lens off here. And then to mount the lens, I rotate the frame so I have the empty side closest to me. I tuck it in at the outside corner and using my thumbs, press down at the nose and it snaps right in. So I'm going to take this block, take that off, pull off the sticker and come down here and clean the frame. Now if these were prescription I would use my Marco 101 lensometer to verify the prescription but because these are non-prescription I don't have to do that. Now Michael when you get these in the mail and of course free shipping anywhere in the United States but when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That is because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no exception, I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just stop by your local place and they'll get them adjusted for you. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses. But I'm gonna get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three-point stance are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. This is just all part of quality control. And there is no wobble. When I say wobble, when I take mine off, and I set them down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. And for those of you keeping score at home while I'm cutting his Versace, the 4275, I'm wearing the Versace 3199 in color 5118, which is the blue in Havana. Havana is just a fancy word for saying tortoise, which is tortoise at the bottom. So let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. All right, so I'm going to flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, and they're not askew in any way. Everything is lined up perfectly. Now, let me give these one good cleaning, and then I'm going to get these packaged up and shipped out to you so you get them in the mail very quickly. And did I mention free shipping anywhere in the United States? So that is that, and I also include... Now, you're going to be getting your own... Versace cleaning cloth. I'm going to throw in one of my own premium microfiber cleaning cloths. Now I also leave instructions not only how to care for your frames and lenses so they last you for years, but how to care for both of your cleaning cloths and your case so it too will last you for years. But I field test every cleaning cloth to make sure that it works. I do not want to send you a defective cloth. 
You know, I do this every night, and I think it's hysterical that I use your cloth to clean your glasses. So when you open them up, if you see a little wrinkle in there, you know that it works. It's been inspected by me, 23. And actually, speaking of 23, man, Michael, I, your Villanova Wildcats just put the smack down on my North Carolina Tar Heels. I'm located 11 miles away from the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, and I got their basketball poster up there. My man Marcus Page hit that shot with 5.4 seconds to go. Yeah, it was ugly. It was ugly, but it counted. But, uh, man, your guy came down court, and all I was thinking was, don't foul, don't foul, don't foul, don't foul. And he comes down, and after that illegal screen of the guy with 21 syllables in his name, um, hey man, he hit that shot at the buzzer, and it's going to be remembered in history. History! In fact, wait a second. I, th I think the price just went up on these. I think that's only fair. I'm going to up the ante if you want me to ship these things. Especially after you told me you've been wanting them a long time. I'm going to make you pay more because my feelings are still hurt after that loss. I'm still emotional. <laughs> but anyway, if anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. Now, Michael in Holland, Pennsylvania, I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut clear non-prescription fashion lenses for your Versace 4275 color GB1, which is the classic shiny black and gold in the 58 eye size. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.